Welcome to this practice today. I'd like to invite you to join me by being seated on your mat. Feel free to have a cushion or a block if you need to raise your hips, but just come and arrive in this space. Tune in to your breath, your body. And we'll go back to our breath like we did yesterday and start with some balancing breath. So we talked a little bit about ujjayi breath, which is when you, there is a bit of a constriction at the back of the throat so that you can control the breath better. And if you've not done this before, it's like when you fog up a mirror or a window and it makes a noise. It's sometimes called ocean breath because it sounds like the ocean. So it's that <sighs> noise but you do it with your mouth closed. So, we'll inhale for four and exhale for four. So inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. And then just allow your breath to come back to its natural rhythm. That balancing breath is really good for any time of day. If you're feeling a bit low and sluggish, it can bring you up. If you're feeling a bit hyper or anxious, it can bring you down. So it evens things out. Perfect for any time. Okay, maybe soften and close your eyes and just notice how you feel. Notice areas of tightness or tension. Notice anywhere you can soften, whether it's your shoulders away from your ears. Notice any of the muscles that are sore or twinging. And make a note to yourself to be careful if there is anywhere that hurts today. So within our seated position, we're just going to take some gentle neck movements. So first, as you inhale, Take the gaze and turn the head to the right. Back to centre as you exhale. And then left. And then back. And again, each side. And back. And left. Pause, breathe, then we're going to take the gaze and the head up and down. So inhale up and down as you exhale. Inhale up. Just come back to neutral. Take the right hand out on the mat. And as you inhale, just take the left ear towards the left shoulder. And then leave it there as you breathe. And notice any increase in sensation through that side of the neck, the shoulder. If you want to increase the stretch a little, just lift your chin a little. But be gentle and mindful. And then return there to neutral and swap sides. Left hand out to the side, right ear towards the right shoulder. And breathe. 
increase the stretch by lifting the chin a little. And return to neutral. We take some shoulder circles here. So start right, left, right, left. One more of each, right and left. Change direction, right, left, right, left. Last one, right, left. And notice those sensations down your back. We take both shoulders together and as you take the shoulders forwards and up and then back and down, the scapula come together and down your back. That's the shoulder blades. And down. And down. And change direction. We often neglect our shoulders. And one more and pause. Take some circles and so make sure that you're sitting comfortably, but that you're sitting evenly on your sit bones. Have your legs however you wish. Um, I'm going to have my ankles just one in front of the other, the heels there. And we'll take some circles. So just round. And then as you come forward, lift through the chest. As you move back, arch round the back and the spine. And change direction. And just again notice the sensations through your back, through your sides, through the ribs. And come to rest. Take your legs out. And we're just going to flex the toes. Just get a stretch through the toes. Flex and extend. And then at the ankles. And then take some circles at the ankles and change direction. Take your hands down. We'll move the left leg in and out. And the right. So you're increasing movement at the hip and the knee. And then come to a butterfly. So soles of the feet together. Taking the heels as close to your body as you wish. They can be much further apart, that's no problem. And if your knees are really up high and there's any pressure or pain there, or you, we don't want any pain, if there's any pressure there, you can always have them resting on cushions. Take hold at the ankles and lift through the chest so the spine is long. Hinge at the hips, just keeping a long spine but folding forwards. And then drop the head. Sinking into your butterfly. Allow your breath to be natural again. And take the hands to the mat and push back up. Stretch the legs out and give them a shake. Come into a half butterfly. So right leg in, left leg out. It doesn't matter how wide it is. It's whatever's right for you. Take your left hand to your leg. Sweep the right hand over. So you're coming into a side stretch. Feel it through the side of the ribs and the waist. As you inhale, come back. And again, sweep it over. As you exhale, come back. Inhale, sweep it over. Exhale, come back. And swap sides. So, left foot in, right foot out. Right hand to right leg. Inhale, sweep. Side stretch. Exhale, come back. Again, inhale and sweep. Exhale, come back. One more. Inhale and sweep. Exhale, come back. Let's come to tabletop. Four point kneeling pose. So in your four point kneeling pose, knees are under the hips. Shoulders are over the elbows, are over the wrists. And we'll take some cat-cow here. So tilt the pelvis, drop the belly, lift through the chest. Tilt the pelvis, round through the spine, chin to chest. Just take a couple of those. 
and notice any sensations through your spine, through your ribs. Just be aware of how it feels. And one more. And come back to neutral. Push all the way back to your child's pose. Stretching the fingertips out. And walk the hands out to the right side. Maybe even taking that left hand on top of the right. And breathe. Then come back to centre and walk the hands over to the left side. Feel that stretch down the right. And breathe. Then come back to centre in your child's pose and back up to tabletop. From your tabletop, tuck the toes, hover the knees, send the sit bones to the sky, coming into your downward facing dog and pedal the feet. Feel a stretch down the hamstrings and walk your hands to your feet and your feet to your hands. Then generously bend the knees, lengthen through the spine and sweep all the way up, coming up to standing. From here, turn to face the long edge of the mat and step the feet out, pointing the toes out to 45 degrees. We're going to find our inner goddess. So first of all, soften the knees, keep the tailbone tucked under and keep the core strong. Cactus the arms and bend the knees in the same direction as the toes, maybe taking a mudra with the fingertips. I've got people walking past the window watching. <laughs> maybe pulse a little in your goddess. Maybe come a little bit lower. Maybe come onto your tiptoes. Maybe take the hands overhead. And release. Step to the centre of the mat and just pause. Notice how you feel. Let's take a warrior two, our first warrior of the new year. So step the feet out again, about a leg length apart, up to a leg and a half. Turn the left toes out to the short edge of the mat, keeping the hips forward. Take a hug. And on the inhale, sweep the arms out, bend that left knee so it's going to go over the ankle. Take the arms to shoulder height. Don't crunch up your ears and take your gaze through that left hand. Find your inner warrior. How are you going to use your inner warrior this year? And breathe. Release and hug and take it out again. One more. Release and hug and sweep it out. Shift to the left, take the left forearm to the left knee and take that right arm up and over into extended side angle. Don't let it fall in, keep it in line with the body and even take the gaze up if you wish. And then sweep back, warrior two. Release the legs, turn the feet forwards. Take your hands to your hips, soften the knees and come into a wide legged forward fold. You can use blocks here or books if you wish, but allow the body to hinge at the hips. Don't lock the knees and then maybe just move a little side to side. And then come to centre. Inhale and lengthen to a flat spine. Exhale and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold. One more. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Turn the feet out again. Bend the knees in the same direction, cactus the arms and rise back up into your goddess. And release. Take that to the other side. So right toes to the short edge, legs out again. Take a hug. Sweep out, 
finding your warrior two. Take that hook, sweep out, warrior two. Last one, take that hook, sweep out, warrior two. Shift, take that right forearm to right knee and the left arm up and over. Don't let that shoulder fall in. Coming into your extended side angle. And come back, warrior two. It's important to keep that knee bent when you come back, protecting your spine. Release, turn the feet forwards. Bring the feet in, not all the way in, turn the toes out. Have a long spine, soft knees, come down to a flat back and lower the hips, coming into your yogi squat, malasana. If you need to sit on a block or a cushion here, that's fine. If your heels are off the ground, put blankets or cushions under them. And come down to seated. Just come back to your seated position. Tune back into your body and your breath. We'll just take a couple of extended exhales here. So using our Ujjayi breath again, we're going to inhale for four, exhale for six. This is allowing us to tap into the parasympathetic nervous system and increase the relaxation benefits. Inhale for four. Exhale. Inhale for four. Exhale. Inhale for four. Inhale for four. Exhale. Inhale for four. Exhale. breath to turn to its natural rhythm. Soften or close your eyes. Tune back in and notice how you feel. Notice your breath, your body, and enjoy the rest of your day. See you soon. This is an inner light meditation visualization based on the Yoga Sutra 1.36. When disturbed by negative thoughts, focus on the inner light. Find yourself somewhere comfortable to sit or lie. And with your gaze soft or your eyes closed, notice the straightness in your spine. Soften or relax your shoulders. Notice how you feel. Notice how your breath feels and notice how your body feels. To become more centered and balanced, 
try extending your exhale. So count to four as you inhale, allowing the breath to be smooth and fluid. Count to six as you exhale, allowing a smooth, fluid flow to your breath. Repeat that again, counting to four as you inhale and six as you exhale. And again, count to four as you inhale and six as you exhale. Then let go of the numbers. Notice how your breath flows naturally. And notice how you feel after this breath counting. Shift the focus to a visualization. Allow your mind to rest in the center of your chest, just behind the sternum. Visualize a very small, bright, beautiful light in this area, as though floating in the center of your chest. Take a few breaths as you notice, observe, or contemplate this small light residing in the center of your chest. Begin to notice that the light is starting to radiate more brightly. It begins to spread out into your chest and your back, growing slowly and steadily. The light begins to spread down into your abdomen and your lower back. It spreads to the top of your chest and into your shoulders. Notice this inner light continuing to grow and brighten. It moves into your legs and your feet, into your arms and your hands and into your head. Now notice your whole body is radiating warm, compassionate light. Feel the light shining out of your eyes even though they're closed. Feel it in your nostrils, your mouth, your ears. Feel it shining through the crown of your head. Feel the light shining from the tips of your fingers and the tips of your toes. Feel it shining from your heart, from your feet, from all the pores in your body. Imagine you are radiating light. Imagine you are made of pure light. Imagine your whole body glowing with this warm presence. Now imagine you radiate this light out into the world. Allow your light to radiate to the people in your life your family and friends, your colleagues and neighbours, the staff in places that you've been or visit, to everybody around you. You may allow yourself to remember a particular person, someone who is struggling, 
as though you could send them this light. Now imagine you're sharing your light with all the animals and plants in your life, then all the animals and plants in the world. Imagine you're sharing your light with all beings on the planet. Continue this visualization for several more breaths, continuing to radiate light to anyone and everyone, or to anyone who you choose. Slowly, as you are ready, allow the light to begin to come back into your heart. Feel it drawing back into itself until it comes to rest as a single point at the center of your chest. Contemplate the light resting here in the center of your chest as if for safekeeping until you choose to take it out again if you need it. Remember that light is always there, always ready to access when you need. Slowly take your attention back to your breath. Count in to four and count out to four bringing you back to the present moment.